Hello, this is Kenneth Travis, your hometown mortgage and real estate expert, coming to you with another tip of the week. I'm sitting here with my good friend and colleague, Blake Weber, and we were sitting here and we came up with a really good idea and we wanted to pass it along to everybody. Um, so now this here is a regular cup. So what I want you to try to do, Blake, is I want you to try and pick up this cup. Okay, so you're a really smart guy, okay? We would agree. But you picked up the cup. What I want you to do is I want you to try and pick up the cup. Okay, so you tried, but you still didn't pick up the cup. You tried though, right? But you still didn't pick it up, okay? So what I want you to try to do is I want you to try and pick up the cup. Ugh, you're killing me, dude. You picked up the cup. I didn't ask you to pick up the cup. I said try and pick up the cup. Didn't you learn this from somewhere else? It seems real familiar. Matter of fact, I did. Always with you, what cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Okay, I'm not trying to make anyone look silly here, but here's the point, okay? There is no try. We should eliminate the word try out of our vocabulary altogether. All try does is it gives us a back door to an excuse for not getting something done. So if we want to do something, let's get it done. Let's commit to either doing it or not doing it. For instance, if I said, hey, Blake, let's go to lunch, or he asked me, hey, let's go to lunch, and I said, hey, okay, sounds good, I'll try. And two days later, he calls and says, hey, man, what happened? I said, hey, Blake, I tried, man. You know, that's not good because I didn't make it. It's perfectly okay to say, I can't do it, or I can't make it, okay? So what's not okay to say? I tried. Okay, so here's the point. There are a lot of confusing things out there right now, you know, about the home buying process. Should I buy? Do I not buy? Loan modifications, what do I do? I'm in a tight spot with making my payments. Should I refi? Should I not? Should I purchase another home? Should I not? Should I sell? So many things out there, and there are a lot of questions directed at you. We're not going to try to get you the answers. We will get you the answers. Okay, so if you have any questions, you're going through a particular situation and you need some help, just give us a call. Even if there are things that we don't know here at the office, we'll go out and we'll find them. We're set up with people who actually have answers to these questions. There's a lot of people we've done business with from credit challenge, uh, credit repair companies, uh, to modification people, people that we do business with and people that we trust. So they won't try to help you. They're going to help you. It's a very confusing time. There are a lot of things that need to be done for a lot of people out there right now. So it's a great time and it's a great opportunity whether you're buying or selling. So what are we taking out of our, our vocabulary, Blake? Try. We're not going to try. Oh, you said it. We're going to do it. <laughs> We're going to do it. Okay. So you've got our number. You've got our emails. You've got all of our contact information. Shoot us a quick email or give us a call. If you need anything, uh, we look forward to hearing from you. And until next week, make it a great day. Hey, don't forget. Comment below. Forward to your friends, family, colleague, anybody you think might need this or need this tip today. And go ahead and subscribe and you'll get all of our videos here from the future. Make it a great day.